<laughs> All right, what causes unhappiness? Do you know? <laughs> Besides expectations of the, of the material world, <laughs> right? That's the key. Um, want versus create. You're going to love this. I'm going to show you another way to start creating an amazing life and raising your frequency. Okay. Want versus create. Unhappiness is when you want. Want says that there's something outside of me that I need, and we're going to use the N word in a negative way, that I need to make me happy. It's separate from me, and now I have to figure out how to get it. And when I get it, then I'm going to be happy. No, you won't. Because nothing in this material world can possibly maintain that for you. You have expectations, and it's always going to let you down because everything changes, right? So what's happiness? You're going to love this one. Just creating. You just create. You go into a power position. What's the power position? I know that I am creating absolutely everything in my life through a thought. This is why your beliefs are so important. This is why I love like this e-course that I created. We go after it. What's at the root of your thoughts? You guys, free inspiration. Sign up. Go to LandriaCa.com. You can go see my e-course called Breakthrough Fear. I teach you how to move past the beliefs because that's what's generating your thoughts. So we're going to just talk about the thoughts today in this, this uh, video. All right. When you are trying to create something because you desire it and you want it, you think that there's something you as a human have to do to bring it into your, your uh, you know, reality. This is why I don't like the law of attraction term because I think people see it as something separate from them. All right? There's a law that I have to attract something. I don't believe that. I believe that you can shift into whatever reality you desire only if you're on that frequency and you make a decision to go into it. All right, so, but when you want something, you're, you're saying it's out there, I have to bring it to me, it's separate, what do I need to do? Oh, if I do these things, the universe will grant it like it's some separate thing. You are the universe, it is you. There's no thought and then it gets the message. You are the message. Remember I told you, here's your consciousness, here's, here's energy. Okay, you put your view over here. Happy, sad, it's not. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, you're happy, I'll send that to you. Nope, here's the universe going. Happy, sad, abundant, bad relationships, good relationships, that's it. There's nothing between you and it. That's it. And then it's creating whatever in the material world, because sometimes it takes a little time because we have density here. That's it. Don't think that there's something you have to do or that it gets a message or if I say it this way, well, like you're gonna fool it. You're it. So let's go to the second creation point, happiness. I am it. I'm creating with a thought. I am it. So I'm not going, oh, I desire something I, that I need to get. I say, what am I going to create today? Hmm. All right, here's my next goal. And it, yes, it's a desire, but you're not separating yourself from it. You go, here's my next goal. Okay, I'm creating this right now. I am it. I'm going to shift into that reality. It exists. It's part of my probabilities. I'm going to create right now. So you don't think, wow, okay, what do I need to get? What do I need to go after? And how do I do that? How do I figure this out? Meditate and asking and all this stuff. Asking is receive. I say, give. And that's what you're receiving. Give it, and you're, you're receiving it. All right? So what are you going to do? Just create. You have the power to create anything. You wield it. You don't have to want anything. You've got it. Everything exists right now, again, within this role. Don't try to be the, you know, the king or queen or the president or whatever if that is not your role. You know what your role is. Play it out. Love it. Do your best. 
What do you have right now that you chose, including your genetics? All right, so stop this, you know, wanting something different or whatever that's just really very superficial. You're not tapping into your higher frequency that's going to give you everything you possibly ever desire. So let's say you want the better job or the better relationship or you want the, uh, I know one of you wants to lose weight. Create it. Create it. And then take the action. Say, okay, I'm going into this probability right now. So that person who is thinner, let's say, and you said this, you said to the gal who wants to lose weight, you said you, you envision yourself skinny, but you're still taking the action as the other person who desires to be skinny but is acting like an overweight person. So you say it's outside of you. It's, it's over here somewhere outside of you, and you're still acting like that. So when you shift into that, you absolutely have to be that person. You have to shift in that reality. How does that person act? Well, they take the action. They take the action, and that's the beautiful part of it. It's like, okay, you know, uh, going for the run, that's tough. You know, it's like, okay, I made it. Woo! You know, I got outside the door. I did the run. Eating the spinach salad, not binging. If you binge, then binge on a sp spinach salad with no junk on it. And start to change those habits because you said, now I have now created that skinny person. The journey between on this dense planet between here and when that happens is part of me reprogramming the human being that is seeking a, the density of this planet. I have to reprogram that part and connect to my higher creative self that has no limits. Quantum physics says that I'm the skinny person. All right, so the skinny person doesn't binge eat. The skinny person says I have to do certain things. There's a programming going on here. I have to reprogram that part, that dense part, so the higher me that's creating, not desiring it, I'm it, I'm choosing it. Boom, you have to start being that person. That's all there is to it, you have to be that person. You want a company? You can't quit. You want to, you want to do my internet marketing? You don't get, when it gets tough, you go, oh, I want to quit, I'm just like, you're not that person. You didn't shift into that probability. You're still acting like the, the broke person who's struggling or the person who's extremely successful, who's making good money, who's miserable, right? You're still comfortable with that. So you're, gonna, you're shifting into that. You're staying in that reality. And you desire this over here, but you have not shifted into. You're, not, you're thinking it's something separate from you. When you go over to happiness, happiness is... What am I going to create today? You are acting like a power person that you are. You're acting like the one entity that has no limits of which you are. Take my e-course. I'll train you on this. All right? So who are you? Are you over here unhappy because you desire something you don't have? And you might even be happy and desire it. But a truly happy person knows it already exists and goes into that space and doesn't have to desire it, just starts to be, become that role and puts no limits, limitations on when it shows up because everything that you do on that pathway, that journey that you are is very important. It's part of your evolution, your spiritual growth. Even if it's physical stuff you do, it's part of your spiritual growth. You're already in that space. You never question it. You never question it that it's going to show up because you're in a happy, shifting space. You're in creation. Does this make sense? Unhappiness is desiring. Desire. Most people that desire something and don't have it are not happy. Lower frequency. Right? So you're not believing it. You think it's separate. You think it's law of attraction. You gotta, it's out there. I've attracted it to me. I'm here. And it's out there. It's separate from me. Nope. Happy people go. I already have it. Got it. Okay, it doesn't matter what happens along the way because I know it's going to show up. I know I'm already in that space. Yay! Now you just do what you have to. Don't sit on your butt and go, okay, I'm eating bonbons and, and I'm, I'm the skinny person. I'm the skinny person. That's the person over here.
still acting like the overweight person, not believing it, thinks it's separate. I imagine it, I desire it, not believing it, not taking, not being the creator. When you go into creative mode, you are already happy. You're in a higher frequency of happiness and you get excited because you know this already exists and I am that person. Start to create, 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 create. You do it with a thought, by the way, boom. You do it with a thought. Most of you just don't believe it and this that's a tough one. So like I said, I got a six week course that goes through that because it's tough to break some of those negative beliefs, but you can do it. it takes practice, you gotta be on it every day. Ask yourself, what am I manifesting? What's that thought, what am I manifesting? You are whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. <laughs> Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste. <laughs>